We'll now draw a slush brick corbel, or a kind of corbel at the end of a transition. So uh, you might have noticed on the roof, there's different types of transition types at a gable. You can have a, a lamb's leg, you can have an eyebrow, and you can have a no transition. And the no transition is okay, but it's uh, kind of rare to use without some sort of other element. And so what we want to place in here is a brick corbel. And what you can do is you can draw a mass element, draw it, extrude it, put it up in your elevation. But there is a tool in Vision Res to expedite that process. So if we go to our roof palette, not our roof palette, our wall palette, I'm sorry. Go to our wall palette and we'll go to the uh, exterior trim tab. And at the bottom, underneath our corner boards that we use pretty often, we have a sliced corbel tool. And so before we do that, I want to show you what we have turned on, because there are certain things that you need to see. You need to see the wall below, and you also need to be able to select the edge of the roof. And so the best way to do that is before actually running this command, make sure you turn on all your layers, you select your roof, run the draw order command, DR, enter, and we're going to bring the roof to front so we see this blue line on the edge and we can actually when we select it we select the uh, roof and not the trim piece. So we'll run the slice brick corbel tool and you can pick out any kind of existing mass element style that you have in your drawing and there's some brick there's some brick slice brick corbel you can make a cast stone you can make whatever kind of mass element style I'll select the brick sliced, and then we can select these different attributes of our brick core. Well, I want this to be, say, 8 inches. I can modify the height. I can modify what that angle is. I'll keep it with 45. You can make it cut perpendicular to the roof. You can make this edge straight, or you can step it. I'll keep it straight like that. I'll keep this 8 inches. I might even want this to be a little bit bigger, I'll say 30 inches tall. So then, once we have that, we select draw. And then the first thing it asks for is the wall to define the corbel. And what you're going to do is you're going to select the wall underneath the gable. So not the, not the fascia side, you'll select this gable side, the rake side. Enter. Nope. Oh, sorry. Let me do that again. Select the root the wall then you select the roof slab then you'll select this edge of the roof with your uh, slope defining edge and enter and it draws a mass element if you take a look at the mass element it's just a simple shape of a mass element but it used the wall where to locate the mass element you use the slope of the roof to draw the mass element and it placed it right underneath the roof Maybe you can cut that back. Maybe I made that a little too tall or what have you. And you can redefine it. You can modify the mass element. Like if I uh, generated this uh, elevation with that new corbel in here, maybe that's a little too big. So maybe it needs to shrink back to not be 30 inches tall. Maybe that needs to be 2 foot. So and easy enough just to delete that corbel, rerun the command, it remembers everything that we had, change that to two foot, select the wall, select the edge of the trim, and it made it a little bit different. And since this is a new object, I'll regenerate that one and select that trim. So, right underneath it. So, it's a nice handy way to make that mess element make that faster instead of going up into a uh, straight on elevation and tracing that stuff and get that exactly right.